Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today will be an interesting video, not a typical one. So this weekend I've received an email from one of my followers with this screenshot on the left. Uh, it's an image with database schema and on the bottom there is a question. What should I do with Eloquent if I want to display it like this? So basically from these tables, what should be the Eloquent sentence? And I decided instead of uh, replying to him directly, just shoot the video that we would solve that together and maybe you will learn something not only from this question but in general how I do things with Eloquent. So I've uh, started uh, just empty Laravel project, uh, Laravel new, uh, and tried to create the same structure. So create assignment places, employee types, and history users. So there are three tables on top of users. And users seem to be default Laravel, name and email, and other fields are kind of irrelevant, but they exist. Now, first thing I've noticed here is assignment place, employee type, and history user, they are all singular tables. And this is not what I would advise in Laravel, because otherwise, if you, if you want them to be singular, then in the models you have to you have to specify the tables. By default, if we go make model, it should be singular here, but by default it creates table with, uh, with uh, plural places. And here camel case, so assignment place, would be transformed into assignment place with uh, snake case with underscore. So this is my kind of advice or tip number one. I would uh, create them in plural uh, forms like this one. And then if we go to to PHP Storm. These are three models and I don't uh, need to modify anything there. In migrations, uh, assignment places, string just name, if we compare to, to the schema here, so just name, employee type is also just a name, nothing, nothing fancy, and then history user is a little more interesting. So with that table, I'm not sure how to uh, how to make it on fit on the screen. Anyway, a user ID, assignment, place, employee type, so three foreign keys, and then starting from, so one date field. And this is exactly how it looks in, uh, in migrations. Uh, don't uh, forget that since Laravel 5.8, uh, by default, it generates big increments. So in all the tables in users, in assignment places, it will be big increments, not just increments. So if you do foreign keys, I've written about that in an article, uh, don't, uh, don't forget to, be, uh, to do unsigned big integer, not just unsigned integer. Okay, so we have the schema now. Let's run the migrations. Uh, migrate fresh, because I have something in that database already, some testing. Let's see if it works. Oh, see, it actually, that's... There are, there are no seeders, but just uh, I typically run everything with seeds. And now let's go to database and let's see, refresh. Let's fill in with data, like, like an example from the, from the person. So one user named Johnny, Johnny with Johnny. It's written differently, but I just prefer this one. Everything else is irrelevant. Dot com. Uh, yep, so one person, then two assignment places, which would be agency one and agency two. Agency one. I will skip created that for now because they are not relevant. Agency two. And then employee type security one, security two. T one and security two. Security two, and then finally the main table with foreign keys. So history users, it's plural. So one one one, user one one one, starting from, for example, this date, and then one two and two. So one two and two, starting from February, for example. Okay, so we have the structure, and now let's try to do that result in Eloquent. To do that, probably you will learn something new here as well. I've created a controller. This is an empty Laravel project, so I've done make controller history controller, and instead of doing index method or something like that, I've done this thing. So get 
URL history controller and as you can see there is no method here uh, that thing it's called invocable controller history controller and the only method here is invoke so one uh, if you want to have controller with one method this is the way you do that and you return something and if we go to the browser this is the result hey I'm a controller so here instead of this we will do some eloquent magic it's not actually magic it's pretty simple but anyway so we need to have user ID okay so history user that's an eloquent model uh, get no not get select only those fields okay so what do we have here ID user ID and actually we should probably specify them with uh, with tables history uh, users ID history users user ID name uh, name should be probably employee name yep so users name then uh, employee name employee name is employee assignment place name so assignment assignment places name what else do we have employee type name so employee types name uh, created that updated that and probably that would be history history users created at created at okay so put that on two lines and then get right uh, and on top of that we need to do some joins history with so it should be with with all those relationship what do we need in terms of relationship and we don't have any so far so history user is an empty empty model class for eloquent and let's go to to create those so user would be return this belongs to user class next would be employee type or actually assignment place assignment place would be belongs to so return this belongs to assignment place class and that's automatically uh, resolved by assignment place ID uh, field I don't need to specify I could potentially if it's different field I should assignment assignment place ID I could do that but that is kind of default so I don't specify the foreign keys and then employee type return this belongs to employee type class right and let's go back to our controller and let's specify what do we need so a relationship array would be user uh, assignment place and class uh, and employee type employee type um, I'm not actually sure if it works, but uh, history uh, and then for each history, history items, actually history items for each history items as history item, echo history, actually let's do print r, print r history Okay, and that's it. Let's see if it works. Or do we have some error? Column not found, user's name. Um, user's name, user's name. Select user's name. Um, okay, let's skip all the select and let's do just get it should be done differently yep so we do have result uh, and let's do it differently we do select from uh, in the view so return view uh, history with variables so compact history items and in the view we will actually return what we need actually let's use welcome welcome blade so instead of this one, I will do just table. 
So a table uh, for each actually head. So name and all of those. Name, user ID, employee name, employee, uh, actually name. It's a little mix here, it's not an employee name, it's assignment place. But anyway, assignment place, employee type, and created at. And also ID. ID. And then we do for each, so T body uh, for each, uh, what was that? History items. Yes, history item, and for each, and we we show only the things we need to show. So history item ID and copy all of those. Uh, user name. And if it's empty, we will show empty. That's a fallback. So employee type name. That's actually assignment place. Assignment places first. Assignment place. Then employee type name also could be empty, and this one probably should not be empty. Created at we're doing those because those relationship could be empty potentially. In our case, we didn't make it nullable, but anyway, just just for the sake of not getting error. Uh, and yeah, let's refresh. Actually, wrong thing, wrong blade. So it's not history; it's welcome blade. And let's refresh that. And I hope we have a table here. Yep. So user ID, employee, employee assignment place, something like that. So employee agency one. I've missed the name here. So history item name and name here. User ID. Yeah, I've missed user ID as well. Uh, username, user ID, that's what I've missed. User ID employee. Yep, so now everything is right in right place. So if we compare that to what was needed, Johnny agency one security one and then created that, which is in my case empty, but I didn't fill it in, uh, in the SQL Pro and database. So yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, it took longer than I expected because I was playing around and sorry if it took longer, but I did want to show you uh, the live version of how things are coded, maybe with some errors, maybe with some flaws. I hope you learned something from that and I hope I answered a question to the, to the follower. If you need uh, any help, you can shoot me email to povilas at laravel.daily.com and I don't promise to answer quickly because my time is limited, but if there's something interesting, maybe I'll shoot videos like this one or reply to you personally. See you guys in other videos.